hello welcome to tbiz show and on this channel we're gonna be telling you what you need to know concerning your health and fashion lifestyle thanks stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to this channel thanks so much daily habits that damages your brain a habit is a regular practice that most of us are dependent on oftentimes we don't realize the causes nor its effect. Some, some every day, seemingly harmless habits can be so bad that they can cause lasting brain damage. The human brain is the most important organ of our body and we all feel to think that the brain also requires exercise or training and nutrition for it to function well. Thus, forming good habits and avoiding the following bad habits will prevent brain damage and will help us to keep healthy. The human brain is considered to be the most delicate part of the body, with the highest functional attribute. A small damage to the central nervous system can have a dangerous impact on the overall well-being of a person. Your overall health is the sum of your habits. When you allow your daily routine to be dominated by bad habits, your path toward elder living will surely be impeded. It is commonly believed that a chain of bad habits is too light to be felt until it is too heavy to be broken. As per the recent release of World Health Organization, the most dangerous habits that can damage your brain are as follows. Number 1. When you eat too much junk food, part of the brain linked to learning, memory and mental health are smaller in people who have lots of hamburgers fries, potato chips, and soft drinks in their diet. Berries, whole green nut, and green leaf vegetables, on the other hand, preserve brain function and also slow mental decline. So next time you start to reach for a bag of chips, also grab a handful of nuts instead. Number two, too much of sugar consumption. Excessive intake of sugar for a long period disturbs our body capacity to absorb proteins and nutrients. This might result in a condition called malnutrition, which deters brain growth. So, why this happens? It happens because our body lacks adequate nutrients in the blood, and hence, it does not deliver enough nutrients to our brain, when in turn deters its development. Belly busting sweets can arm your memory and thinking ability. So, choosing antioxidant rich sweets such as raspberry and ch dark chocolate will be a wise choice for both your brain as well as your waistline. Number three, sleeping by covering your head. You may feel it warm and comforting, but sleeping with a blanket covered over your head might increase the consumption of carbon dioxide and reduce the consumption of oxygen. Oxygen is very essential for proper functioning of your brain and not having enough of it can harm your brain cells. By now, you must be wondering these are very common things that you often do daily. So now, it's time to nurture your brain and give the attention it deserves. To be the most productive of ourselves, that's exactly what we need to stop doing. Your brain will definitely thank you later. Number four, sleep, poor sleep. Sleep is critical to our well-being and especially important for the health of our brain. While we sleep, our brain repairs itself. Lack of quality sleep inhibits this process, leaving the brain susceptible to damage over time. Americans are now sleeping less than ever. According to a poll conducted by the CDC, more than a third of people report sleeping less than 7 hours per night. Most people need between 7 and 8.5 hours of sleep per day for optimum overall health. Many of us can relate to having reduced con cognitive function due to a poor night's sleep. Unfortunately, the effect of poor sleep extends beyond poor focus and a short temper. Recent studies have shown that poor sleep also causes degeneration and loss of brain cells. That said, it is far too easy to short a change ourselves much needed sleep in the interest of increased productivity. Ironically, better sleep could improve productivity and reduce time needed to complete tasks. 
Number five, lack of personal interaction. Conversation is incredibly beneficial for your brain. The process of having to utter thoughts and feelings and then convert them into language while making sense of the word coming from the person or people with whom you're talking is a remarkable workout for your brain. A study conducted by the University of Michigan determined as few as 10 minutes per day of conversation with another person improved memory and cognition. The study also fought found higher levels of social interaction resulted in higher cognitive functioning. These findings were consistent through all age groups. We now live in a time when face-to-face -face interaction are increasingly being replaced by digital text or digital surfing. The lack of true personal interaction not only limits your brain opportunities to exercise, but also leads to higher rates of loneliness and depression, mental conditions that contribute significantly to reduce brain health. And number six, bad hearing. Your precious ear are the ones suffering most from our no noise and more than the surrounding. How peaceful must it have been for ancient time years to be exposed to nothing more than the singing of birds and of the occasional ringing of church bells. Today, your ears have a lot more to endure, a constant exposure to noise, subways rowing, car honkings, music in the supermarket, in your headphones, constructive sight everywhere, the noise lazy level is at a crazy eye. And it's driving your ears crazy too. According to the latest findings, hearing impairments are increasing. A study conducted at the John Hopkins University found that hearing impaired people have a 30 to 40 percent higher risk of falling victim of to cognitive deterioration. So it's smart to protect your ear as much as you can. For example, audiologists offer earplugs that are tailored to your ears and protect you from too excessive noise level. Number seven, lack of exercise. Being physically inactive is a seriously bad habit to damage the brain. Besides, being a primary catalyst for multiple diseases, including cancer, dementia, depression, heart diseases, and obesity, physically inactivity contributes to cognitive decline. In a study published by the Journal of Cooperative Neurology, researchers discovered that sedentary rats demonstrated excessive excitation in the brain region called the RVLM. Among other functions, the RVLM controls the activity of the sympathetic nervous system. This disruption may lead to the deterioration of the neurons in the area of the brain. In other words, a lifestyle of physical inactivity can alter the structure and function of an otherwise healthy brain. Per an article published by Harvard University's medical school, exercise helps memory and thinking through both direct and indirect means. Regular exercise reduces inflammation and insulin resistance and stimulates chemicals that promote the growth of new brain cells. Number 8. You have a close relationship with the salt shaker. If you want to keep your brain working at full capacity, it may be time to step away from high sodium foods. According to a study released in 2014 by Neurology, hypertension can restrict blood flow to the brain and negativity impact focus, organizational skills and memory. Since this condition is often triggered by excessive sodium consumption, skipping out on these 30 saltiest restaurant meals on the planet may be in your brain best interest. Number 9. You sit all day. Sitting all day isn't only affecting your gene size. According to the Washington Post, moving muscle pump fresh blood and oxygen through the brain and trigger the release of all sorts of brain and mood enhancing chemicals. When we are sedentary for a long time, everything slow including brain function number 10 and not enough water not drinking enough water can leave both your tongue and brain beyond parched a study in human brain mapping journal discovered that dehydration causes shrinkage of brain tissue as well as negative effects on cognitive performance try upping your water intake by sipping on detox water if you are bored of playing h2o Number 11, ice cream. 
Any cold food, including ice cream, can cause a sudden headache. It is believed that cold food narrows the blood vessel. The blood, the body trying to prevent hypothermia, sends warm blood to the brain, which in turn dilates the blood vessels. It is this difference, according to scientists, that causes a, a headache. Number 12. Cell phone. A study on rats revealed a link between brain cancer and the use of cell phone. However, you should not throw out your smartphone. Instead, doctor advised you to use a speaker or a headset for taking and not to put the phone near your pillow while you sleep. Number 13. Smoking. Even though you are all aware about the dangers of smoking, there are still millions of smokers around the world. The list of harmful effects from smoking is lengthy and one of them includes shrinking the brain, says WebMD. Sounds pretty scary. Trust us, it is not a good thing. Smoking will also affect a person's memory and make a person twice as likely to develop dementia as well as Alzheimer's all diseases. In addition it, to its negative effect on the brain, smoking also causes heart diseases, diabetes, smoke, stroke, and high blood pressure. Number 14. Chronic stress. We all get stressed from time to time. That life, no matter what career we are in, where we live, or our family life, we all encounter stress on a regular basis. Of course, some people have much more stress in their life and we all process stress differently. So what might not be that stressful for one person is extremely overwhelming for another. Stress can be good for us if experienced in moderate amount. It keeps us on our toe, but chronic stress is very harmful to the brain. Chronic stress puts an individual at risk for mental illness. Very well. Mind refers to a study published in Molecular Psychiatry found that chronic stress can cause long-term changes to the brain, which is why people who experience chronic stress are more likely to develop mood and anxiety disorder. Stress can also change the structure of the brain. Researchers from the University of California, because stress, because stress creates an excess of myelin producing cells affect the balance of white and gray matter in the brain. Very well, mind explained that gray matter is responsible for higher other thinking and white matter is made up of all axons that connect with other regions of the brain to communicate information. The source also notes that stress has the ability to kill brain cells and shrink the brain. Number 15. Skipping breakfast. Our brain also needs appropriate nutrients at the appropriate time to function its best. Due to the fast-paced lifestyle, most of us avoid or end up skipping our breakfast to save some time in the early hours of the day. This leads to low sugar supply and poor nutrient supply to the brain. The brain needs pure glucose to function. Poor nutrients can have long-term harmful effect on the brain like the regeneration of the brain cells. Number 16. Working when sick. We often fall ill when we are overworked. If during sickness too, we continue working, then the brain's efficacy is bound to take a dramatic hit. This will only add to the stress. When we are ill, the brain and the body are already working extra hard to cope with the infection. Working on a sick day will only hurt to the body, so take a break, relax, and recuperate. Number 7. Consuming alcohol. Greater the percentage of alcohol, higher the number of cells that die in the brain. Alcohol leads to chemical imbalances when continued for longer duration and large quantities. Brain volume decreases due to chronic alcohol intake. Anything more than 2 units per day for men and 1 unit per day for women is excess alcohol. Number 18 will be the last habit where it is overeating. Whether you are feeling very hungry or you are simply enjoying your dish too much, stuffing your face when you are full is a bad idea. Overeating causes the brain arteries to harden, leading to decreased mental capabilities. We want you to stay tuned to this channel for more news on your health. So, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.